What's up, Younger fans? I'm Taylor Strecker, and this is the only place to be for an inside look at each week's new episode of Younger. It's your Getting Younger After Show. I'm so excited to have the one and only Molly Bernard here to talk about tonight's episode with me. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and as you watch along, we'd love for you to join the conversation by sharing your thoughts on tonight's episode in the comments. Okay, so the big jaw dropper tonight that I'm still kind of in shock over was Kelsey stepping down as publisher after a very unfortunate social media snafu. Mm. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look. Oh, damn. Guess who got the money, honey? <laughs> Yeah, okay. So, what was your reaction to this turn of events? Okay, I'm gonna be totally honest. My reaction to this turn of events uh, was very like Theresa May-esque. It's a callback to the first episode of the season. Yes. Where it's setting women up. Yep. Right, and, yep. They're um, the, and then they fail. The glass cliff. The glass cliff, yep. that's right. And this episode in particular broke my heart because She's come this far, she makes one tiny mistake, and the fallout is pretty big. I know, as I was like watching, I, I knew it was gonna happen, you know? And I, I hate that, because I, I was like, no! Um, can you ever imagine accidentally broadcasting a private message to your stories and having it become a meme? What would you do? Uh, I guess I'd have to make the best of it. I'd probably end up reposting it and being like, yep, this happened, oops. <laughs> uh, you know, for April Fools, I sent Hillary a text and I was like, why is there a video of you naked no. on Instagram? No, yeah. <laughs> and she panicked. <laughs> That's delicious. I know, it's really tasty. Have you ever posted anything on social media that you regretted later? All the time. I feel like I try to just go with the flow. Yeah. Um, and if the flow means it's something like awful or, or not by awful, I mean, I went off like when, when the abortion stuff, when the abortion bans happened. Of course. I posted, I think like 15 videos and, and things you can do. And I called some senators and I went wild. And I was like, do I regret this? Or is this actually how I should be using my social media? I actually think it's admirable. I'm glad I did it. Um, I was a little bit afraid. I get it. Like the moments after. I know, but you know what? When you got a platform, use it. I completely agree. You have to use your powers for good, not evil. It's true. Okay, let's talk about the rest of the episode. On a much is that what we're here to do? That's what we're here to do. <laughs> not talk about <laughs> politics. Although Keep I going. could, Keep I could, meals. girl, I could. On a much happier note, uh, Lauren and Liza helped Diana shop for a wedding dress. I know, sweet. I know. You shot at the famous Kleinfelds. How oh fun is God. it? It was really fun. That's where Sutton, so Sutton was there and Sutton said yes to the dress at Kleinfelds. No way. Yeah, Sutton I didn't was know like this. right here is where I said yes to my wedding dress. Oh my God. Would you get your dress at Kleinfelds? No, you know, I want some like female independent fashion designer, yes. ethically sourced and made. Yes. No. But wasn't it fun shooting at Kleinfeld? It actually was really fun. I tried on a bunch of tiaras, <laughs> and I kept going to like the racks, like looking at the dresses, like, mm, no, too much beads, <laughs> too many feathers. Well, not if, but when you're gonna shop for a wedding dress, who in the cast would you take with you? Hillary, definitely. Yeah, because? Oh, because she'd be like, no. <laughs> or she'd be like, yes, definitely. How can you? She Sometimes when she really likes things, she does this sweet thing, like, how can you not love this? <laughs> So in the episode, Diana doesn't think that she wants to go all out for her second wedding, which I understand, but then Liza helps her realize she really does want to celebrate getting it right this time. Do you agree that Diana should go big? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So you're like, who cares if it's a second wedding? Just do it, girl. Yes, I feel like the argument that Liza makes about getting it right is actually really moving and compelling, and I think... I mean, it's expensive to do that, you know? Yes. But she's Diana and the show is a fantasy, so go big! <laughs> um, do you think Enzo really is a perfect fit for Diana? Totally. Ugh. She needs him. Right? She was such a mess. And now she's like, so cool. He makes her just level. Yeah. And that's the way to be. I know. So Liza is really troubled by the Infinitely 21 ad that features her and Josh looking like a bit too smitten. Do you think she'd be worked up if she actually wasn't having feelings there? Hmm. No, I guess she wouldn't. 
I don't think she'd be as desperate to reach out to Charles. And she wouldn't feel like so caught, because if there was nothing to catch. Right, she does feel caught. Yeah. Yeah. Like exposed, like, oh my God, they saw us looking with love eyes, heart eye emojis. But if she didn't feel that way, eh, it wouldn't be a big deal. Well, she spends most of the episode worrying about Charles seeing the ad, and she actually flies to Chicago, which ends up being like the bigger issue to him. So, do you think Liza did the right thing by going to Chicago? Or do you think that that was like her ultimate tell? Like if he saw the ad without her coming, would he have seen the love in their eyes? Yeah, I think it was too dramatic that she goes to Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, but she's clearly panicked. I think because she, you're right, she does feel caught, so. Do you see where Charles is coming from? Being like, uh, the big issue here is that you flew here about this. Yeah. Yeah. How would you feel? I would feel the same. I'd be like, wait, what? This is weird. None of this makes sense. But then again, if I saw like my partner looking lovingly into her ex-partner's eyes, I'd go crazy. Yes, but what if your partner was like, truly, this is ridiculous. This happened You're on right. set. You're making is a big deal. So crazy. Is what's I didn't so even bad. call you because this is like a non-issue. I love yeah. you. Let's go to dinner and talk about it. Yeah, play cool. Word to the wise. Lessons learned. <laughs> You could do that too. That's a reenactment of me. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, same. It's me. Right? No, well, I'm, Wait, are you like a little jelly in relationships? Oh, yes. I am crazy. It's bad. I mean, I've gotten so much better, so much better. And with, with my partner, I behave so well. But in the past, I was an asshole. Do you have like a little, a little story to tell? No, I mean, not unless you want to be here for a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> I've behaved really badly, but. Me too. I outgrew it, I think. We can join a club. Yeah, yeah. Bad support girls system. Club. Bad girls club. <laughs> I think that one already exists. Uh, Liza declares she's not going to see Josh anymore. How do we think that's gonna work out for her? Poorly. Also, that's so dramatic. You can be like, listen, I need to see you a little less. Yep. I'm with Charles. I love him. Yep. I like, it, it, you can't be like my best friend. You can still be in my life, but I, you know, there's, it could have happened a little differently. She's panicked, clearly. She is, yeah, her actions are, are like, showing her soul. Girl, play it cool. Act like you don't give a fuck. <laughs> She's not. Uh, when Claire gets a job offer in LA, Maggie advises Josh to leverage the infinitely 21 ad campaign so Claire doesn't have to move away with the baby, and he pitches Inkberg Midtown. What do we think of seeing Josh maybe going a bit corporate? Do we like it or are we freaked out? I think it's pretty weird. I don't, right? I don't love it. Doesn't feel like Josh. But then again, would he have moved to LA? But now that he is a kid, he's gonna do things that aren't so Josh like. And that's actually a that's that's real. That's yeah. reality. You yeah. have to do things that are outside of your comfort zone for the kiddos. So Josh is a baby and is franchising his business, uh, but he's not the only one of younger's younger generation who's growing up a lot this season. Kelsey's obviously running company, but Lauren has found her stride as a social media strategist. How do you approach playing Lauren as she matures but still retain that wild side to her? Good question. Um, uh, the easiest answer is like I'm, I'm doing what's written in the script. Yes. <laughs> and I think it's really logical and it makes it easy for me to um, be present. So this year, this season I feel like Lauren is so focused on Kelsey and Diana and Liza. Yes. And it's all about like um, lifting these women up and making them the best they possibly can be. Like she's their champion in this crazy way. Like we, we should all be so lucky to have a friend like Lauren. Oh my God, she's the best. And she's taking it really seriously. Mm -hmm. And um, I, you know, her ideas are still as wacky and zany as ever, but she's like, this is for my best friend. So this has to be perfect. Do you think she sees it as a job or as like a friendship, I don't know, um, perk? I no think it, it's definitely her job, and she like idolizes Diana, so it's very cool to be working for her. Yes, her diva. You know, diva, <laughs> diva all the way. Um, but yeah, she is really focused this season, and that's been, it, it, it hasn't been a lot of work. It's been like a joy. Oh, you're a joy to watch. I'm just, I just adore Lauren, that's and cool. I adore you. Thank you. Um, speaking of you, how would you say that you've grown over the six years of Younger? Girl, please, I have grown so much. I know. It's wild. It's, I don't even know how to talk about it. I'm a, I feel like a very different person. When I first got this job, I was fresh out of grad school. I had just left Yale. I didn't know, you know, I thought it would be like a downtown theater girl. Mm -hmm. Working in TV was the last thing that I thought was gonna happen, so it's pretty wild. <laughs> how did you manifest that, or did you even manifest it? Is manifesting it not manifesting it? Uh, no, I knew what I wanted. I just thought it would be a very long game for me. I would have had no idea that I would have got this job like right out of school. And you did. I mean, thank you, Darren Starr. And also, because you're super talented. Thank you. 
You really are. Okay, guess what? It's game time. So we have a game that's called, oh, Lauren. Oh, my. It's called, as I live and breathe, Lauren. <laughs> okay, so Lauren is so much fun, but she can also be a little bit of trouble. So let's revisit some things Lauren has done to her friends on Younger, and I want to know how you would handle it if your actual friend did this to you in real life. Obsessed. Okay. okay. Spiked your drink with ecstasy and told you after you drank it. Uh, just as I said, we all need a friend like Lauren, <laughs> LOL. Uh, I'd be furious. Furious. I, I get really, I have a lot of anxiety. If it was Molly, I'd be like, how could you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> I, when I watched that episode, I had anxiety. Yeah, it's, it's really like fucked up. I'm gonna do Molly, I'm gonna do Molly. Yes, it has to be your choice. You gotta work up to it for weeks, talk to your therapist, talk to your parents, be like, listen, if I die tonight, you know. Yeah, anyways, moving on. Uh, in the same theme, offered you ayahuasca she made from an internet recipe. At least she offered it this time. I'd be like, nah, girl, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, put up a profile on a dating app for you without consulting you first a million times. A million times? <laughs> After the 10th, I'd be like, you gotta chill. But I, I wouldn't be so mad about that. How many times has she done that for Kelsey? A I, bunch. I, she's had to have done it constantly. Yeah, it's <laughs> got to be like a hobby of hers. Like perfecting Kelsey's dating, like many dating apps. What about dating an ex? Wait, if I dated an ex? If your friend dated your ex. Oy. Oh, I'd be really unhappy about that. That was Mulky. I had to be reminded of that one. Oh, yes. shit. Yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. No, that's like no, no I wouldn't be uh -uh. into that. Turned your bedroom into a weight room for her boyfriend. Uh, I'd be furious. 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 <laughs> Lauren is kind of sounding like a dick. <laughs> but she's so, you love her. You love her like you love, like your favorite poodle, your high energy poodle. <laughs> Miniature. Y yes, but yes, a tiny little. <laughs> <laughs> tell, 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 tell. Showed you the porn your significant other secretly made years ago. I'd be grateful. I would be grateful too. Yeah, I'd be like, thank you. Uh, creating an Instagram account for your baby without telling you. I'd find it cute. It's adorable. It's cute. You can just say, mm, take it down. That's really cute. Plus free stuff. Exactly, free How swag. That's what that whole thing is about. Molly, that's it. We're out of time. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Before we go, Molly, could you please give us a one word teaser for next week's episode? Hummer. <laughs> Molly, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you so You're much. You're the best. Mm. You're the best. Mm. Kisses all around. Mm -hmm. And a big thanks to all of you younger fans out there for watching and sharing your comments. I'm Taylor Strecker, and this is Getting Younger. Join me again right here, right after next week's episode, for more behind-the-scenes stories and insights from the cast. Until then, take a sneak peek at what's coming up. Bye. Wow, your tomatoes look plump, supple even. Why, thank you. You off to work? Yeah, I was hoping to go in with Kelsey. You know, help soften the blow of her demotion, but she hasn't replied to my many, many texts. Give her time. Hey, you know, you should stop by Josh's new space. It's in Midtown, right near your office. Yeah, I can't do that. I need to keep our interactions to a minimum. I told Charles I wouldn't see him anymore. Oh, Chaz gave you an ultimatum? He's full of surprises. No, not exactly. It was my decision. Well, that's rigid. I mean, I'm friends with all my exes. Well, except Hangnail Helen and... Libby, who had the frog tank next to her bed. Josh is more than my ex, and as much as I've tried, we are not really friends either. Every time I'm around him, I get these feelings that I don't want to be feeling, and I, just, I don't trust myself. Oh, that's called undeniable chemistry. Something like that. Subscribe to Younger Uncovered. The podcast dedicated to all things younger.